Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. All eyes are on Thomas and Hope in Rome and a late Liam anticipates a new morning. On a sun deck in Italy, Brooke gushes to Hope that it's the big day. Hope thinks it's sweet that Ridge suggested her mama model one of their gowns. Perhaps the magic of Rome is working on the two of them. Outside, Thomas assures Ridge he's fine with Brooke modeling one of the gowns. Steffi and Carter come by and Thomas recaps how big a day it's for hope for the future. Carter agrees. It's huge. He's surprised Liam isn't then with his woman. On the Spencer spurt, Liam exclaims over how generous it was for Bill to do this. What would I do without my daddy? They toast and Liam says he can't stay to see hope. At Forrester Creations, Zend remarks on the time difference from Italy. Eric is glad RJ could join them. Paris remarks that this is the capstone of a lot of hard work. Eric notes Zend and Paris were vital to the success of hope for the future and should be proud of themselves. RG's agitated for everyone, especially hope. In Italy, Carter goes over the schedule with Thomas, Ridge, and Brooke. He warns Ridge that the press will have a field day when they learn he's there with the Golden. On the Spencer spurt, Bill tells Liam that the Y. Phi is down. Liam says that's fine because he doesn't want anyone to know he's flying to Rome. It would spoil the surprise. He tells his father he didn't want Hope to feel like he was convoying because of Thomas. Bill thinks he has good reason to worry about Thomas, but he's also living evidence that people can change. Liam asks his pater if he's made any progress with Katie. Bill admits that he was hoping she'd join him on the Stella Maris, but it was knit in the cards. He suggests Liam bring Hope to the yacht after Rome. Liam thinks it's a great idea. It'll be a little flight together. At Forrester Creations, Eric gets off the phone with Carter and tells the others that everything is ready and the exercise is about to start in Rome. Zend, Paris, and RG rave as Eric tells Zend he and Thomas really hit it out of the demen. He respects Paris on the humanitarian end of effects. She's glad to be a part of it and hopes she helped Hope with her speech. Eric says it'll be a grand event for everyone, but Thomas and Hope especially. In Rome, Steffi and Ridge speak to an Italian contact outside. Outside, Hope tells Carter everything is going well, but she's lost her mama. Brooke appears and Carter tells them, You have got this. Hope tells her mama she hasn't heard from Liam, which is unusual, so she'll try texting him again. Thomas enters and asks Hope how it's going. She has jitters, but he points out it's exhilarating. You're going to be sensational. He's proud to be there for her and to be a part of bringing the line to life. You are going to shine. Go out there and be you. At Forrester Creations, RJ pours coffee for Paris, who's nervous and hopes everything goes well in Rome. Talk turns to it being a Logan slash Forrester event and RJ hopes for no drama. Zend reveals that Brooke will be wearing a gown and Eric suppositions it was Ridge's idea. He thinks Rome is having a big impact on RJ's parents. On the Spencer spurt, Liam keeps thrashing with his phone, forgetting there's no service. Bill knows it's a pain and assures his son that before he knows it, they'll be there and he can wine and dine his woman. Liam can picture it now. Hope will be so surprised when she sees him. In Italy, Hope poses in a gown in front of the route as bystanders watch and shutterbugs snap prints. Brooke, in a pink gown, joins her. They pose together as Thomas, Carter, Steffi, and Ridge look on. As the ladies spin about in their dresses, the cameras click like crazy. In the porch, the modeling continues. Hope has changed into a new dress with a gauzy robe and Thomas walks over to acclimate commodity before replying the others. He smiles at Hope as she spins and poses for the shutterbugs. On the spurt, Bill tells Liam they should be landing soon. Liam thinks the exercise is passing now. Bill assures that there's an auto staying for him on the tarmac and it'll take him straight to the shoot. Liam laments being so foolish by putting hope between him and Thomas. However, he's sure this could be a new morning for them if he can show his love and support. At the Hope for the Unborn exercise, Carter introduces Hope to important applause. Hope takes the Tribune and thanks everyone for being their moment. She makes her speech about Italy always being so drinking and says how proud they're of the new collection. It's a way for them to express themselves and their individualities. 
They've made clothes with a social conscience to cover the world for unborn generations. She didn't do this alone and gives a cryest jewel to her devoted platoon, adding that none have been more precious than their talented lead developer. She asks Thomas to join her, which he does. Hope gushes that she's deeply fortunate to have him on the line as he has a gift for fashion. She opens the bottom to questions and the first is a request for a print of them together. Thomas and Hope oblige as the shooters Luke's ask them to look with at Ridge, each other. Couple vows not to let Thomas and Hope derail reunion. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester may have to make a pact if they hope to stay together. Although Ridge is on the verge of reuniting with Brooke, there will be further obstacles to contend with nearly incontinently. B&B &B suckers know Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, has been the source of numerous dissensions between Brooke and Ridge. Every time Thomas attempts to turn over a new splint, Ridge defends him while Brooke's left battling Debiades. Still, the situation is indeed trickier this time around since Hope Spencer, Annika Noel, has passions for Thomas and is about to make her move. After Hope kisses Thomas and gets caught, the news will inescapably get back to Brooke and Ridge. Of course, Hope will assure Brooke that she's to condemn for surrendering to temptation. We'll see Hope defend Thomas, but Brooke may still feel like her son was manipulated on some position. Indeed so, Brooke may eventually realize Hope is a grown woman who's making her own miscalculations. That doesn't mean Brooke will stop swimming and offering guidance, but that consummation could affect her relationship with Ridge as this plot heats up. Although Brooke's pact with Taylor Hayes didn't work out, she might propose a new bone with Ridge. Maybe Brooke will make the suggestion and move Ridge that they've to promise their kitty's drama won't come between them. Specifically, Ridge and Brooke might covenant not to let what happened with Thomas and Hope ail their reunion. Since this will spark further Hope and Steffi Forrester conflict as well, Brooke and Ridge may promise not to let that affect their renewed love moreover. There's been a ton of buildup when it comes to Ridge and Brooke getting back together, so B and B pens may not want to throw it all down so soon. Another pack seems like a good result, at least a temporary bone, that could make Brooke and Ridge's reunion last for a while. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Ridge and Brooke may strike a deal to keep the peace, so stay tuned for updates on what's ahead for these two. The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease the potential for a reunion between Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester reunion. And that seems even more possible as Brooke's pact with Taylor Hayes ends. Brooke and Taylor had agreed that neither would pursue Ridge. Find out what Catherine shared about Brooke's future on The Bold and the Beautiful and learn what she teased about a potential romance. Get all the details below. Rome sets stage for romance. A recent trip to Rome gave The Bold and the Beautiful the opportunity to explore Ridge's and Brooke's future. And B&B and B spoilers tease that Brooke and Taylor end their promise to avoid pursuing Ridge. As a result, Catherine Kelly Lang told TV Insider that filming in Rome provided the perfect opportunity for romance. It was a fast and furious trip, admitted Catherine, but it was so wonderful to shoot in one of the most romantic cities in the world. I'm so excited to see the episodes, added the bold and the beautiful star. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.